the Chicago Cubs are here in St. Louis. We will tolerate them for a little while. This is an MPU board sent in to me for rehab. It had problems with the daughter card, as so many of these games of this vintage do. So I like to replace it with the uh, re-engineered daughter card from Ed at Great Plains Electronics. Uh, while it was here, I also added NVRAM, um, added, or changed the uh, filter cap from the power input, and then added the slam switch mod right here. And I have a ground mod, a single pin connection to connect to your ground backplane. The, uh, the board is in my robo wars, so let's reboot here. You're gonna hear some calamity. That's what happens when you have a Chicago Cubs in a robo war. So let me uh, advance to the lamp test and you can see it's kind of going through the various lamps here. And then uh, the next test is solenoid test. And that's normal solenoid test. Here's an important one, the switch matrix test. And I'll just go through all of column one, except for switch zero seven, which is the test button. And I'll go through all of row one. And that tells us that all of the switches are working properly. Dip switch settings, E0, E7, 4, B43. For those of you that can read binary pretty quickly or hexadecimal, that's correct. Display. Very boring, very slow. And we're good to go. So, test the memory. The reason I don't put a RoboWar ROM in here is because the Chicago Cubs MPU board is missing a socket here, or, or it doesn't need the socket there. So uh, I can't install the RoboWar ROMs here without adding a socket, and I didn't want to do that. So this board is good to go. Uh, I did roll in a, a shot of the daughter card. I had tried to repair it, but it just wasn't taking solder so much. So this is the 100% reliable long-term solution. And I hope you get back to playing some baseball even though it is the Chicago Cubs. Thanks so much.